All right, I've got this huge GMG um, lock here. This is the key. That came from down under monkey. Uh, so this is the interior side. Tracks the bolts. And then there's an exterior side. Which also operates. So I need the full 360 to get it unlocked. So um, this. So I want to go that way, counterclockwise. So I haven't actually picked this thing yet, but give it a go. Um, try not get myself completely out of the frame. Uh, yeah, that should work. So first we're going to push this big actuator post in the middle, but it doesn't seem to want to go right now if we get some further set. Oh. There we go, that actuator is set now. Whoop. Okay, and there we have it picked now to unlock it all the way. Of course, we have to 360 it. And sometimes, when we get about here, things are going to pop back up. So, there we go, one more, one more, one more, uh, a few over here are going to pop up. Oop, lost that tensioner, but there we go, oh, half retracted. So I guess if we want to really pick it, we've got to do that again. Will we do it again? Oh, this would be easier if it was actually mounted to something. All right, let's try and do it again. One, two, three, no. Two, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, uh. That actuator in. Started our rotation there, and then we go back to here. Let it start popping up again. Nearly got it. It is handy because the lever that requires attention pretty much. Um, pretty much uh, just pops up, so it tells you which needs to be done. Um, we jammed. in. 
think we've gotten stuck on So I'm probably getting my head all the way in the way of this video, but We didn't actually have the actuator pushed down. Whatever, I'm not doing it the third time. <laughs> uh, that clearly demonstrates how it works anyway. Oh. But of course, because it's around the wrong way, the uh, key doesn't work. Whatever, we can get it without the key. Time to cut this thing. Right, so here's all the bolt work. That's what that actuator needed to push on was this piece. So on the last one there, I obviously didn't engage it into that properly. Um, that's a complicated mess. I'm gonna put that over there. So here's our exterior cylinder. With screws. That over there. Now, the best way to pick this really, if you had more keys, which I only have the one, um, I would just cut off the wings like that, just leaving you with this section. And I'd use that to push and apply tension. And then I'd just pick down that um, with the probe and that'd be way easier. Um, that'd be the best tension tool for this thing. But without having more keys, I don't want to do that. Is it to take off a couple of screws, eh? Alright, well we've listened to the big one. Should be able to use the little one out. Alright. Yes, please. Alright, so Oh my god, we're gonna to have to just time lapse through some of this. How is it to take out screws? Jeez. Alright. So we have this piece. There's our actuator rod. That gets pushed in like that and engages into that bolt work. All right, now there's a little spring here. Um, this is my first time getting this, but I wish down on the monkey's video. So 
a bit of an idea what to expect. So there's a pin in here that that spring should have been pushing on. So we can work that out. Just like a standard pin. And that holds this outer sleeve on. Got a hardened drill protection. This thing. Um, and that takes this plate out of the way. And we have the lock itself. All right, so you can see that this outer section is just a sleeve. Sort of. Oh. Okay. And if we hold that nicely together, this is the lock part. So this twist action is the shear line. And again, because we've got this around the wrong way, that's not going to work, I don't think. But if we are gentle, we can get this out. Yeah, and then we have our key pins in here. Um, do I have a... That'll do. Um, so, are we going to even keep track of this? Let's call that three two and one on that side one two three let's call that leave a space so you can tell four five six so these are just like our our key pins just brass logs of different lengths um there's our front plug bit so just like that and then we have our drivers which are all the same have these mighty long springs Whoop. Uh, which do detach um, but yes they are a bit of a weird shape but yes it goes this way so there's no false gates or anything so they're actually pretty easy to set so one three two, four, five, and six. And there's all the inside that looks just holes for those springs to slot into. And then you can see they sit in alternating directions. So yeah, if you had a this on here like that, then you ground those pieces off. That would make a mighty nice tensioner. Needs to have plenty of room to get in there with the probe on the sides. So that is the... Um, oh, and the interior cylinder doesn't have any pins at all. It just turns, directly actuates. So that's pretty boring. Um, but yes, that is the... What was this, the GMG? Yep, GMG. Um, Multi-point locking system, which is pretty cool. Um, looks more impressive than its actual pick resist, but you do have to go the whole way around. And as you saw, that is a little bit tricky to do. Um, getting it picked that first step is the easy part. So there we go. Uh, thank you again, Dan Under Monkey. Um, you could watch his video as well. It's probably almost identical to mine. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.